Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Alright, so let's take a look at what is inside this package. Okay. So this is from Kodak, the Kodak Recoma 33 9x12cm plate camera. Okay, let's take a look at how this works. It's pretty compact, right? So you can look at this compared to my palm size. I bought this not to use it as it is, but rather to use it for my uh, street box camera build. Huh? So let's take a look at how to use this if you are to use this as a, a camera by its own. Right, so here on top, you will see a little button here. So when you press that, okay, and this is the front part now. So when you press that, right, the front part will be released and you will review the camera and the lens. So the camera and the lens is all still inside the uh, compartment itself. So there's two um, there's two grip here for you to grip and then pull out the bellow and the lens, right? So you can easily move this up. So there's an infinity um, sort of like a lock here, which you can push this button to shift it in and out. So when this shifted in, this um, front standard will be blocked by this little thing here and this is the uh, point where the lens is focused at infinity right so this camera comes with the double extension if you want to move the lens forward some more you can move away the infinity lock here right and then use this screw to move the lens forward right so it can move quite a bit Right, as you can see the bellow, it can be extended for quite a bit more. Right. Right. So I can continue to extend it. Right. So I guess it can take some good micro shot. And what's so cool about this little camera is that it also has the fun rise and fall, which I can use this screw to move the front standard up or down okay as you can see okay now move the front standard up right and it also have the uh, front what do you call this something like uh, the front shift also right so you can move the lens to the left or to the right uh, so there's some movement here built into this little so this is the Kodak Anastigma lens focal length is uh, 185mm with the biggest aperture at f4.5 so from what I see I haven't do a shoot yet but um, the lens is uh, relatively clean shutter speed seems to be alright so how do we call the shutter right so here is the different uh, shutter speed so for example we'll set it to like right, this 1 over 50 against this white mark here and this is how we will cut the shutter right and then this is the shutter release let's press on this we will trip the shutter right sorry so so there's even a cell timer to set the cell timer you just cut the shutter and push this button back right once you've done that push the shutter le levels towards the end some more right and then now you can treat the shutter so let's go right i think it give about uh, 7 to 10 second kind of um release right and now the shutter has been released okay i hope you i hope you can hear that i'm not going to do a very full review of this camera because as i said the purpose is to build a box camera so i will also document the build
Alright, so I already glue one side of the wood to the bottom piece and now I have the other side board which I will also glue it to the base piece. Alright. Alright, so what I have here is the completed, okay, almost completed um, film holder and of course the uh, frame itself. Okay, let's talk about the frame first. So, so for this frame, I just uh, stick together like three layer of plywood. All these are uh, soft plywood that's easy for me to cut because I don't have a uh, you know, power tools or CNC machine to help me cut this up. So I use thin layer of plywood and then cut out the individual rectangle and then uh, glue it all together. Okay, so for the um, ground glass holder, uh, it's also made up from a few layer of plywood as you can see here. So what I have here is a Fresnel lens. This is made from the uh, piece of uh, magnifying green uh, glass. Eh? So this is very cheap. Uh, cost only a few dollars. Just cut it to size. And then I have a piece of uh, frosted on one side. Alcalic uh, plexiglass. Right. So this. So the Fresnel glass will be on top of the smooth side of the ground glass and then the frosted side will face the lens huh? so it will slot in this way so in camera I'll be able to focus on the image here so when that is done but I do have a piece of uh, 4 5 paper here just to show you uh, so this uh, paper holder is size for 4 5 so what I will do is then I will load the uh, paper this way just press it down Right, and then uh, lock it in place, which I have not done, and then uh, do the shooting. Right, so this size for 4x5.
Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel. And I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.